G'day and welcome to the Follow Me Four Wheel Drive channel. Uh, to, in this episode I'm going to continue with the rust and I'm working my way slowly and surely back to the uh, rear seal panel now. I've uh, just got this cross member here to do and uh, let's hopefully we can get the rear seal panel in. Um, I've done some work on the floor inside which I'll show you shortly and to uh, yep, finish off the welding in some other patch panels that I've put in place. So stand by, here we go. Uh, just unpacked uh, the rear sill and uh, sill cover and support bracket uh, that goes in where the gas tank goes. Um, absolutely magnificent. What a, a really splendid job's been done on here. Uh, it's uh, pre drilled the holes. I've already started to, to do some cutout work and, and uh, some fitting, but the holes were pre drilled. Okay, I've got my holes here now for my wheel carrier, which I'm actually going to put that on the other side as well. Due to the fact is I'm going to be running two wheel carriers. One of them is going to be uh, just normal wheel carrier. Uh, for when I do my remote trips, I'll have two spares. and uh, Or I can put water on the back or, or whatever. And here's the front panel. I've got the seal cover. Goes over the top. Like so. Fits magnificent. Just test fitting the rear seal panel, just to make sure it uh, all sits nicely. I've done the adjustments and the cuts that uh, uh, is needed. Uh, but now putting it in here, and I've found that uh, the old seal panel must have been that little bit longer because of the spot welds. Uh, as you can see there, there's a little bit more of a hole there than I need to fill. So what I've actually decided to do is actually, that pencil line there, is I'm gonna cut that piece out, all right. And then I'm going to replace that whole piece of metal uh, to remove the system, what I've got just clamped in here. And we'll just replace that whole piece of metal because at the moment, uh, it's just going to be too much work. And it's also not in really good nick. Uh, there's some cuts there where I've cut through, but it's actually got some cracks in it. Uh, to, so I might as well just clean it all up now uh, instead of uh, waiting and then doing it again. Okay, so I've cut my piece in there. Fit across there. Here's the old bit. All cut out. So that's certainly going to look a lot better. So there's my new piece of metal that I'll be working with. Certainly is a lot better than that. Okay, so what I'm doing is uh, Measuring the centers of my holes here with my vernier, just basically working out roughly what to where the center of the hole is. Lock that in position on the old vernier. All right, then I translate it over to the next hole. All right. Another way is the old wood uh, jobby, getting that centred, like so. Okay. That get me orientation right for the wool carrier. Like so. Not sure if you can see that, but we've also got our jobby here. All right. Like so. All right to uh, the rubber block for the wool carrier, which. I've already measured those ones up there, which is absolutely perfect. So what I've done is I've put a line here, 
measured on the other side, measured across to what I had here and here, here and here. Uh, then I went to from here and did exactly the same. And that's where I've come up with these, these uh, wheel carrier marks. Uh, get my center punch here. Get preparation to drill some pilot holes. Okay. Five mil drill bit. Okay, grab my countersink. Flip them over. A few burrs on that side, so. do is I'll put my nuts and bolts in there and weld the captive nut or the nut on the back. Once I've done this, I uh, clamp the seal panel together. All right, then I drill from the back and uh, drill the holes back in through that way so that I've got the holes uh, for the seal panel for the bolts to go through. Very happy. Okay, so I've uh, copied my holes from the other side onto here. Time to put my bolts through. Now I've left these with a small hole specifically because I'll get these bolts in and get this all bolted up and fitted up uh, before I weld it in. But I just want to make sure I've got those in the right position. Smaller holes are easier to fill than big ones. Here, I'm just going to open these up just to open them up just that little bit, just to give myself that little bit of movement that I need uh, on these holes. work but it'll do a uh, plate that goes over the top anyway uh, but uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll leave that at that. I've got this sitting on here I've got my center lines all uh, right and uh, I basically transfer the holes from here to here and that way I could draw them out. Yeah, I'm test fitting the uh, seal panel in and uh, wow <laughs> much better now that I've uh, drilled all the holes all the way through the two plates, I've fitted them up onto the cars and they just drilled straight through the back of them, like so. Now I'll just hit it with a die grinder with an abrasive pad just to clean up the fronts so they don't look as daggy. And then I'll hit them with a the countersunk drill. Time to uh, weld these captive nuts in. I've already done some of them, but uh, yeah, I'll just weld a couple just to show you what I mean.
Just doing the last fit up and test of the uh, seal panel, which it's looking looking really good. I'm very happy. So uh, just grabbed a little 10 mil bolt just to whack in there, just to make sure that that all works in there nicely. So I'll get that all pushed in and, and welded up. So I've gone through a, a squillion of uh, cans of Worth Zinc Primer. Uh, as I mentioned before, this stuff is amazing uh, as a weld through zinc primer. Um, there's a section there, uh, but it, it really does um, work very well as a weld through zinc primer. Uh, so have a look at the old uh, rusty seal and, and inner and outer uh, that uh, I've pulled out. See, uh, looking pretty average. So everything's been painted prior to being put in so there's no way in the world it's going to uh, it's going to rust that should do it for this episode i think i've got to plenty there for you to see um so in the next episode i'm going to get stuck into finishing off rear seal panel then i've got it basically lined up ready to go putting on the uh, the front uh, cover as well of the seal uh, our floor supports grinding those back uh, just test fitted the door everything works fine uh, so i'm hoping to get the body off on the next episode but I've still got a fair bit to go. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, also ring the bell uh, for, uh, for when I put up my next videos. And um, other than that, stay safe and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.